Hey guys, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm April. I'm a cosmetic and skincare chemist and I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in science-based skincare, like this video, join the family, join the squad. We're here every week talking about skincare. You know you want to be part of the fam. Stop watching from outside of the room. You can join the fam and be a part of this family, okay? All right, let's get into it. As you guys can tell from the title, this video will be about the ordinary products that are great for dry skin and oily slash hypergumentation skin which a lot of sisters like us have <laughs> what can we do but i'll be recommending some products from the ordinary that you guys can use to combat these skin conditions or skin types i should say skin types skin condition just sounds like it's a disease or something now starting with cleansers now this one applies to both dry skin and oily skin because really they just have one cleanser on the ordinary unfortunately so they kind of don't give you any they obviously don't give you any options it's their squalane cleanser squalane is a great emollient to help trap moisture but i will say is for oiliness is from dehydration then definitely use this cleanser but if it's not from dehydration you might be best using a cleanser that has an active like salicylic acid or even um, benzoyl peroxide but definitely don't just use a basic cleanser if you have oily skin that's not from dehydration this is better for people that have dehydration in their oily skin moving on to retinols for oily skin i'm going to be recommending the 0.5 percent retinol you can even go up to one percent that they have but i think starting with the 0.5 percent you should be fine because you have oily skin and also following up with the afrobeat into 2% plus hyaluronic acid because you need as much moisturization or uh, water in your skin and since retinol could be dehydrating or could make your skin appear really really dry you need something that's going to add that moisture back in this why I'm suggesting the hyaluronic acid and alpha-butin hyaluronic acid actually will help the products penetrate even more and also keeping your skin moisturized and not getting dry and for dry skin I'm going to recommend the 0.2% retinol 0.2% is the lowest they have on their website and I'm recommending it because your skin is really dry and can handle 0.2% retinol but definitely also following up with the hyaluronic acid from their website to uh, keep that moisturization in because your skin is dry you don't want to dry it out more that's why i'm recommending this really low uh, retinol percentage for you moving on to oil and moisturizer for oily skin you want to do squalane squalane is bay okay I actually just ordered squalane during the black friday sale it was i think it was on sale for like five bucks and i was like yes i'm actually going to use it in my hair actually as the emollients because i heard it works really well in the hair so i'm really excited about using squalane um, and locking in that moisture of my oily skin and if you have dry skin definitely do the squalane as well or you can even do the hemisquilane which has like smaller molecule sizes which go really quickly into the skin to really penetrate deeper into the skin and enhance the lock in of moisture in your skin finally for sunscreen now this one was a little tricky if you have drier skin and you are a fairer skin tone i would go ahead and recommend their mineral sunscreen on their website but if you have oil your skin and you are of a darker skin tone which a lot of darker people are just a lot oilier it's just in our dna so if you have oilier skin i would recommend just getting a different sunscreen from a whole different website because i'm still trying out products but i haven't found a physical sunscreen that hasn't made me like white as f so <laughs> So I'm still trying out different sunscreens that will not make me look dry and ashy for now. So I will recommend the one that I use is the Super Goop Everyday Sunscreen SPF 50. It's a chemical sunscreen. I've used that one for about two years now and I have no complaints. So definitely check that one out. I know this is not part of the Ordinary, but unfortunately Ordinary doesn't have any chemical ones. I think their chemical ones are still like in the works. It says coming soon on the website. So at some point they will have chemical, but for now they only have physical. And yeah, that's it for this video. Really quick video to give you guys some tips for your oily or dry and happy pigmentation skin i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button down below you know the deal subscribe join the family again we're here every week talking about skincare i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye